Welcome to Cold Corner, I'm Atron. And I'm Inferna. And we have some horror movie pickups that we want to share with you guys. Yeah, little haul coming here at you. Yeah. And I'm going to start out with one, um, The Living Coffin. This is a Mexican Western horror film. And, uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited to see this. I've seen the other uh, ones in the series, but this was the last one I had to get, so. Yeah, hopefully it's pretty cool. So, yeah. <clears throat> Next up is Bloodbath in the House of Knives. This is a, a modern giallo. Um, I don't know if this is really good or not, but uh, hopefully it uh, lives up to some of its uh, predecessors a bit. Yeah. We'll okay, next up. Now, I did love the first one of these, mm -hmm. so hopefully this lives up to it. This is a Battle Royale 2. Yeah, Battle Royale 1 is awesome. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Uh, Kind of... Battle Royale. Yes. Um, They kind of got... Even though it was from the book, it's very similar to Hunger Games, and this actually came out before way Hunger before Games. Way before the Hunger Games, yeah. So, I mean... Yeah. You can say and it's it, way better than the yeah, Hunger Games, it is. too. I mean, it it's is. not even close. So. Anyway, next up is Ouija 1. Double feature of Ouija, Ouija. 2. The Revenge of Ouija. No. The Revenge. Oh, Ouija. Ouija Venge. I, I don't know. I'm not expecting much in these for these two films. We'll see. This was cheap, so I picked it up, and maybe it'll surprise me. I don't know. And then next we have Seizure. Tattoo. The bling, the bling. Yeah, tat tattoo. The guy who played Tattoo from Fantasy Island, if, you know, for all you old people like us, is in here. Yeah, really strange film. Um, looking forward to seeing it again on a nice transfer. Okay, next up is... The Black Coat's Daughter. This is a real cool film. It's like a modern possession film. Oh. It's got a really kind of ominous feel. When you, when you feel like this music gives it a lot of tension throughout the film. Mm. You know, I liked it up towards the end. Um, I was really high on this film. But the end was kind of bland for me, a little typical. Yeah, yeah, I remember we watched it. It's a good this movie. Months it's ago. Just, yeah, it's yeah. still a good movie, but it was just the ending was just seemed like it was so predictable and mm -hmm. just like, okay, I knew that. I, yeah, I, it's like, yeah, yeah, I saw that in the first five minutes. I saw that in the first 15 <laughs> possession films coming through, you know, I was like, <laughs> so it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't a big surprise. Okay, next up we have the Deadly Bees. Beware. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, she's the all having bees. fun. Look at her pretty, happy smile. Yeah, that's that's the look of fun. Yeah, she's rocking out the bees. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up is The Curse of Dr. Wolfenstein. Um, yeah. Um, Have you seen this one before? No, I haven't. This is like a German, I think, German splatter film. Mm. Really, really gory, sick film. I do happen to like German splatter a lot. I believe. But yeah, it's... The guys who put this out put a bunch of other gory classics out, so, you know, um, this will be kind of uh, a nice gory time. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay <laughs> up next we have Blood and Lace. A classic cult film, finally getting a nice Blu-ray release. It's been on bootleg. Well, it's been in bootleg hell forever, so uh, nice that uh, it's got a release finally. And, yeah, it's a, it's a cool film. You should check it out if you're a horror fan. Alright, and after that we have The Wizard of Gore. Yeah, that's a remake of the Herschel Gore and Lewis classic. Go. We've got our favorite guy in here from, like, what's his name? Uh, the dude from Back to the Future. Oh. Uh, that guy. Oh, yeah. Um, um, geez. I always forget his name. He was also Chris Bank Lover. Yeah, because he was in he was in a remake of Willard, which is yeah. which is really I'm good. I'm right, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was like, so, wait a minute, I think that's who we're talking so about. So he's kind of a, a weird, unique character. Mm -hmm. Um so it'll be interesting how he plays the butcher, you know. Or the wizard of gore, actually, the magician here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh let's see. Okay, this is Gamera collection. There's eleven films here in this pack. I'm a grammar fan since I was a kid, so I thought I'd pick this up and finally get some of these classic monster movies. So, looking forward to that. Okay, next up we have Them. Them, uh, Them, them is a French horror film. Um, I, be, I believe it's based on a true story. Um, about, uh, I will not give it away if you haven't seen it, but uh, it's pretty messed up when you see the ending on this. It's, it's a really cool film. I recommend this highly. Okay, 
Next up is Deep Red. This is a Dario Argento's awesome Giallo classic. And this is a Region 2 release. Comes with a nice booklet. Oh, that's a really nice booklet. Actually, yeah. that's like beyond a booklet, that's actually like a book. Yeah, it's like a book. <laughs> a sweet release of this right here. If I could get it up there. But, oh, like that. It's. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, falling down. <laughs> um, oops. Ah, nice, nice pictures of this film. Well, yeah, this is a movie. really, really nice book. Yeah, and sweet deal for this too. So yeah, nice release. All right, next up we have the dead hate the living. Classic zombie horror. Yeah, go. I haven't seen this one. Uh, hopefully it's good. It's been on my radar for years. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. And after that, we have... <laughs> Head of the Family. Mm, yeah, I think that's a Charles Band movie. He directed this. Yeah, full moon release. Yeah, this looked interesting, so I was like, why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And now, next up is One of the Dead. You heard of Shaun of the Dead? This is One yeah, of the Dead. This is like filmed in Cuba. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know if it's, I imagine it's, it's like a horror comedy, um, a gory horror comedy. Um, I'm not sure, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. So, and it's got the, I think it's got the uh, sp uh, makeup effects guy from uh, um, August Underground doing this. Oh, okay. So, that's going to be kind of cool. Alright, next up is the David Cronenberg's cult classic, Shivers. Shiver me timbers. Yeah. Kind of body horror related stuff going on here. Really yeah. cool, real cool film. So yeah, can't wait to check that out. This is a Region 2 also release. Yeah. And next up is Roger Corman classics, The Unborn. Another film I haven't seen. About a Killer baby, I presume, or something. <laughs> something, yeah. So, yeah, it should be pretty cool. This is really hard to find. It's been out of print for quite a long time, so I'm glad to snag a copy of it. Okay, and then next we have Balsamus, yeah, that's a weird one. the yeah. Man of Satan. <laughs> I hope I pronounced that first name right. Never heard of this film. I, it, I just, it looked pretty cool. It's, it's about like a devil worshipping dwarf or something. <laughs> I don't wow, know. I mean, it, okay, yeah. It, it just seems, uh, it seems really weird and just out there, so I love kind of obscure, it's, strange cinema, so right up my alley here, you know, so, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> and, and I'll go. Okay. Since you got... Yeah. Yeah, we're getting. Okay, here. next up is the Peter Weller horror rat classic of unknown origin. Kind of excited to see this. This is one of the movies that kind of slipped past me, and I'm finally going to be able to view it. Um, cool cult classic '80s rat horror movie here. So, yeah, and this DVD is getting hard to find too. So if you kind of like animal horror or whatever, pick it up. Mm -hmm. It's really good. All right. <clears throat> next up, we have the Occultist. Um, yeah, it's an interesting film. Yeah, I don't know what to expect from this one. But I hope it's good. Another kind of cult film that, yeah, not too many people I know talk about. So we'll see. And this one is Christopher Lee yeah. starring in, in double feature yeah. The Blood of Fu Manchu and The Castle of Fu Manchu. Two cool classic Christopher Lee films. And there it is. Yeah. That's going to be good. I love Christopher Lee. Oh, yeah. Finally, we have The Uninvited. This is, I believe, a Korean horror film. Um, don't know much about it. Probably something to do with ghosts or something, you know? Probably. Yeah. And... And then last but not least in this haul is... is... Carnage Park. Um, this was cool. I like this film. It reminded me a bit of, like, Hills Have Eyes. Oh, okay, yeah. Not exactly like there's like hillbilly, yeah. but just a crazy fucker in the desert. Yeah. You know, it's just, you know, often people here and there when they get too close to his gigantic oh. piece of land. Yes. You know, 
Get off my land. Get out of my desert. That's, you know, basically. Get out my yard. Yeah. So anyway, we're done. <laughs> we wanted to show you these films, and uh, we hope you'll have a good evening. And we're really and who knows? We might do some reviews of some of these. Yeah, we might have some future. reviews coming up with some of these too. So yeah, we'll see you next time. Hail the horror. Hail horror.